Hey guys, I've got two complimentary plays coming your way for this Saturday baseball card on Milwaukee and Pittsburgh plus Cincinnati and Washington. But the big news today, twice a year, I release a 30% discount coupon. It is the single biggest discount available all year. I do it today right near the end of the NBA playoffs and really at the beginning of June for the balance of the baseball season and the only other time I release it is right at the end of August right before the beginning of the college football season. Why those two times? because I reward those of you all who are the most loyal of our customers. Those of you who stick around throughout the NBA playoffs and who are here to bet baseball all summer long. And then I do it again right before the beginning of the college football season, even before the start of the NFL season. I do it right before college football because once again, I want to reward those of you, the diehards, just like me, who love to bet baseball because you understand like I do, it's an easy sport to make money in. And it's a sport that when you bet it, there's nothing better as you understand. Making money in baseball, you build a bankroll at somebody else's expense. So when football rolls around, you're playing with somebody else's money. So that's why I do it twice a year. And it's today. 30%. 30 P E R C E N T. That is the coupon code. And it's a mix and match coupon, as you know. So it's good for any combination of picks and or packages. The only limitation is this. It's a one-time usage coupon. You've got to put everything in your shopping cart at one time to maximize your savings. And again, for those of you that are new to the dance, let me just also further explain. If you happen to already be involved in a long-term package with a handicapper, you can do that and uh, use the coupon and apply it to an additional purchase to that handicapper and extend your package out further. So let's say you have 22 days left in the package with Jack Brayman and you want to add another 60-day package to that. Well, then you would have 22 days left. You'd add another 60 days, bringing it to 82 days. You'd get 30% off your purchase price and if you have any instant rebates, they are applicable as well. So again, maximize your savings. Now is the time to do it. 30%, no bigger discount available at all any other time this season other than right at around the end of August. And again, I do it because I always like to reward you for your patronage and your loyalty. And I've said it before, you know, if you were to take this and look at it like a big pizza, um, you know, 100% of the people are here betting Super Bowl, betting football, betting the NFL, betting college football, and maybe about 85% of the gambling public then will stick around and continue betting through March Madness. And then right after March Madness, boom, it's like a mass exodus. I don't know why, <laughs> but only about 30, 35% of the people will remain and continue betting through the NBA. And then as the NBA playoffs kind of, you know, slow down, less than 10 to 15% of that betting public that was back there betting football will remain for the baseball season. I think they're nuts because it's the easiest time to make baseball. I've mentioned before that I was betting baseball. Hell, I was betting baseball when I was in high school, okay? It's the easiest sport to make money on. Bottom line, it's just an easy sport because you have two things going for you consistency and redundancy because you have teams that are playing six to seven times a week. You have pitchers that you can count on going four to five. Uh, every fourth or fifth day. That repetitiveness and that consistency, that's what makes betting baseball easy. This is the 19th year that these sites have been in business. I've won here just on the sites. I've turned a profit 15 of the last 19 years. Nobody made you more money in baseball again last year than me, but there's other baseball handicappers that are very good here as well. Jack Raymond's very good. Dwayne Connors has had a hell of a year. Chris Jordan historically has also been good. Hey, the choice is yours. The coupon's out there. Take advantage of it. And uh, now, without further ado, let's get to the complimentary plays because, to be honest with you, I had two root canals yesterday, and I'm still getting over a dental implant all on the side of the mouth, and it hurts like hell to talk today. 
Um, so let's talk about the game between Cincinnati and Washington first. Uh, the Reds are a 130 favorite in this 410 Eastern Time start. Tanner Work. Roark, <laughs> can't even talk, I'm telling you. The former national is going against his old team for the first time. He has a 2.28 earned run average in his five May starts. This is his first of June. Uh, last night, the Reds won 9-3 to three, uh, behind a 15-hit attack. And who did they beat up? the Nationals' best pitcher so far this season, at least their most consistent pitcher, Patrick Corbin. Uh, Five-run first inning against him. They were up 8-1 after three innings. Uh, listen, this National team is 11-18 and on the year on the road. But when you break that number down even further, 5-15 uh, and 15 on the road before winning the first two games of this road trip uh, at Atlanta, and then they get blasted last night. At this price, I've got to go with the Reds at home. Uh, the other complimentary play, another game that goes at 4 or 5 Eastern time, I'm going to take a shot with Milwaukee on the run line, minus $1.20 uh, at Pittsburgh. Now, Brandon Woodruff has certainly been a revelation. 6-0 uh, and with a 2.37 earn run average in his last eight starts. Break it down even further. Now, in those eight starts, the Brewers are 7-1. and But taking it even further, 5-0. and with a 1.42 earn run average in his last five starts. And Sunday against Philadelphia at home after the Brewers had lost the uh, first two games of that series at Miller Park, uh, came up with a career-high 10 strikeout performance in eight innings uh, against Philadelphia. Now, the Brewers lost 9-4 last night at Pittsburgh after winning the series opener on Thursday by an 11-5 score. Uh, Nick Kingham is going for the Pirates. Remember when this guy made his major league debut about 13 months ago against St. Louis? Seven innings of one-hit ball uh, where he retired the first 20 batters, allowed only one hit in that game. Great things were expected, right? Mm -mm, hasn't turned out that way. Uh, in 18 career starts, he's 5-8 and eight with a 5.81 earn run average. Bouncing between the bullpen and the starting rotation here this season, he has not pitched well in 12 appearances overall, an 8.28 earn run average, allowing 42 hits and walking 15 batters in 29.1 innings. So that's 47, I'm sorry, 57 base runners in 29 innings. And in three starts this season, he has an 8.53 earned run average. Last year, he made four appearances against the Brewers. Three of them were starts. His earned run average was 7.80. Listen, Brandon Woodruff is not going to continue at the pace that he is on the entire season long. The odds are against him. We're talking about gambling here. Stats and percentages, you know, statistics just bear fruit. He is not going to win 30 games. He is not going to continue to have this type of run forever. But <laughs> I'll take my shot and lay the run and a half with the Brewers here and go with them minus $1.20 on the run line and go with Milwaukee against a Pittsburgh team that has just been injury riddled this year and take a go with Milwaukee minus $1.20 on the run line along with Cincinnati at home minus $1.30. Of the two plays, I got to be honest with you, I like them both equally. So I'll give it a shot. Good luck, everybody, and talk to you again tomorrow.